the inside of a small scam call center in Punjab, India. Big up my people, scammers, and that. I'm just, I don't beat them up. I don't beat them up. Very soon, I will be disrupting the peace in this cabin by sending the Punjab police to actually arrest these scammers. Yes, do that. For my work for $3 or more. Usually when we get to see a scam call center CCTV cameras, it's a pretty decently sized operation like the one on screen now, or something like this, this, or this. That's why I was quite surprised to find out that these cameras had CCTV cameras set up, since this call center only has six computers and about four scam agents working on the operation. Email like this one, in which they claim that the receiver of the email has purchased something called National Security Agency 3600, which apparently is an award-winning antivirus. In this email, they are pretending to be from Best Buy's Geek Squad, and in case you do not recognize this NSA antivirus purchase, you can directly call Geek Squad's support team to cancel your subscription. Yeah, you are speaking with Geek Squad. How may I help you? Somebody in your email? Fortunately for the scammer, the person she's on the phone with is not a real victim, but it's actually me and I'm hey. one of the senses. I made the call with my microphone at 10% volume, forcing her to maximize her sound levels, and we can even see her pushing the headset into her ears to properly hear me. I waited a few minutes to grab her full attention and then bumped my sound levels up to 200% with some very loud noises. Me, I know your name. That is so smart, man. Oh, so he just like turns up the sound and just busts the headset. This guy's so smart, man. What? Now let's take a look at not just this one camera position that we have been seeing on the screen, but all four cameras that are connected to the scammers, their DVR surveillance system. Gift. This is really the main room where everything happens. Not only do they take calls in here, they also have conversations with each other, scroll endlessly on their phones, watch memes together, or eat late night group dinners together. How do Indians go about, like I'm Indian as well, but how do they do this? Like, how do they go? All right, join my company. We're going to scam all these people. Or is the setup just completely different? How does India even allow that as well? Like, how do companies get away with it? Like, how are they shelled or whatever? This is exactly where cameras three and four come in. Camera three shows us the hallway that connects the call center's corridor to the main wing of the building. This guy's crazy, the honestly. The main floor is pointed towards the west and shows us the ground floor and main entrance of the scammers their office space building. In fact, we don't even have to look at their IP address because there's an all telling sign with a logo of a beer mug that reads Hope Highway. And when we Google Damn. this term, we instantly find the beer mug logo on a Google reference to a disco club located in Zirakpur, Punjab. These guys in their seven hour shift only get about five to six calls in total. This is why whenever they do get a call, everybody's very intrigued and watches along with the scam like it's some kind of spectacular miracle. No, I need to go and check what is going on, so please bear with me, okay? This is a problem of why you're facing problem with your printer and the Microsoft services that has been stopped by the hackers. Oh my that god, man. Out. How do they do it? That's just so... Oh. And you know why your computer gives you a alert? You <laughs> <laughs> should get coffee pitch in which he claims that the victim's identity has been stolen by hackers and that they need to work on his computer to secure it again. It's 4,243 hackers already active. I'm talking about all these bunch of errors and more. It'll take at least, you know, 30, 40 minutes to diagnose the computer and see what's going on. The work that they promise to be doing on the victim's computer is completely fake. For the next hour, the scammers literally sit out the time, they eat dinner together and do nothing on the man's computer. After this hour, they will call the victim back to say that everything has been secured and that they have to pay a ridiculous amount of money for some kind of firewall security. Please come back, including all the taxes and everything. I give you the security for a complete three year. I increase the two year as well. Wow. What a prick, what a prick. Unfortunately, this victim fell for the scam and paid the scammers via an electronic check to a company named Sofu Solutions. He's not an agent, but the closer and boss of this operation. How do I know that he is a higher up? Well, he was the only person in the call center that had access to the ConnectWise control client from which he, like a lot of other scammers, spies on victims to try and steal money from their online banking. We managed to get what? the scammers what? financial accounts, of which we will see more later. But Nearly 2k, $340. $850, 5k nearly. My god, now nah, I'd hate to be these people. This is horrible, man. Why? why? After installing the fake antivirus protection service, logging into their banks and sending out money through Zelle or international wire transactions. Let's troll to a next level. Yeah, let's go next level. To make one of these scammers their heart rate control point base. Click on accept.
Oh, he's getting them. Things that we did to mess with these scammers was turning their router off so that they couldn't scam anymore, flooding their call systems with fake phone calls, or simply just custom. This guy's so smart. smart. What was that, motherfucker? Your wife dies. What the hell? What the hell? Came up with the plan to destroy their phone system so that they have no more victims to scam, delete all victims from their spying software, contact the money laundering victim to close down soft queue solutions, and finally nice. report their check account to seamless checks. So this guy is he's actually a good guy, but no. all of them responded to me. As, is that a cop? Is that cop number one? He's going after him. It's the whole army. They're all just vibing, they're all just vibing. Undercover agent following CCTV camera. Yes, and it's gone, bro. The police had planned and executed the shutdown of the electricity for the entire first and second. Damn, fair play. Quite, you got the cops on them, did it. Damn.